since lately so many people ask me if there's actually like a huge noticeable difference between using a wireless or wired mouse because so many people say that you get like extra input delay, I'm going to compare them both and give you guys my most honest opinion and if you guys enjoy content like this please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. Yeah guys, of course it's quite easy to tell that the wired mouse is gonna have less latency than a wireless one, but we're just gonna compare here if it is really that noticeable since there's so many Fortnite pros still using the G Pro wireless, which is obviously a wireless mouse guys. And yeah, just take a look at Razer's brand new mouse here, they produced like an 8000Hz pulling rate mouse, which was the Razer 8K Hz, and this pretty much means that this mouse communicates with your PC 8000 times per second, which is translating to 0.125 milliseconds response time. This is insanely fast guys and you do have to keep in mind these are such low numbers so therefore you can't really tell that it's also like noticeable for everyone who doesn't play on like a high competitive level I mean if you compare it with the normal Viper Ultimate which has only 1000 Hertz which means that this mouse communicates 1000 times per second which will result in a 1 millisecond response time this is still also insanely fast and yeah as mentioned you gotta play on a real high competitive level to actually notice the difference between 0 0.125 milliseconds or 1 millisecond I mean just compare it with modern Monitors. There are like high hertz monitors out there with like 2 milliseconds of response time and then there's also like high hertz monitors with 1 millisecond of response time and you can't really notice the difference too much like you really gotta play on a high competitive level. So therefore if you just take a look at the responsiveness itself of course guys a wired mouse is gonna give you like a faster response time but is it really that noticeable? I wouldn't personally say so because I've been using here the G Pro wireless since literally almost like half a year now and I also compared it with the wired model guys and I can tell you the response time are literally straight up the same and especially since the sensors got super close to each other guys we're just gonna compare again the G Pro with the G Pro wireless or the G Pro Superlight both of them go to 25,000 dpi which means guys they're super fast Therefore, there shouldn't really be like too big of a difference. I think like the most beneficial factor about wired mice is actually that they're a little bit lighter. Let's just compare like the normal wired Razer Viper, which weighs around 69 grams compared to 74 grams on the Razer Viper Ultimate. Because of course, you also have like the batteries in there and like all the technology for it to work wireless. But other than that, I have to say like just straight up from the competitive advantage, you shouldn't really be noticing it too much. Theoretically, like 8000 Hertz on a mouse is going to be got here because as mentioned, like the mouse is going Gonna respond like eight times as fast as a regular model but yeah only a certain amount of people can actually utilize this and besides that your setup has to be like really well optimized for literally already like the lowest latency out there you gotta have like the highest hertz monitor which is available you gotta have like a super fast keyboard and then in conclusion you can maybe a little bit notice that this mouse is actually a tiny bit faster and i would say that's like more of a gimmick to kind of like lead into this competitive area you know so people will buy this mouse i don't know razor just argued that pretty much your mouse movement and how you can control your mouse everything is gonna get updated like eight times as fast so therefore you're like a little bit more precise but I can't really tell and as mentioned most pros out there in literally any competitive game like Fortnite, Counter-Strike, Valorant they're all using wireless mice at the moment or most of them at least so therefore it can't really be like too bad of a competitive disadvantage when like so many top tier performers are using a wireless mouse I mean Kaysen is using the G Pro wireless guys he's like right now the best player in the world like PR wise so therefore I don't think so that he would actually Actually, like you use a wireless mouse if it would be that bad and really to argument that like USB receivers are not as good on wireless mice or whatsoever if you really got like a high top tier brand I don't know something like Logitech glorious Steel series, no matter where you buy your wireless mouse from, you, you just gotta be chilling, guys. Sensors got literally so good, and even like Linus Tech Tips did a comparison, like I think like two years ago, and he even said himself that there is no noticeable difference. So, therefore, guys, you don't have to ask me down in the comment section below. I got literally so many DMs of people asking, like, yo, is it true that if you use a wireless mouse, you're gonna get more input delay and actually way more latency while playing competitive Fortnite? And, guys, I gotta tell you, the difference is not noticeable at all. Of course, you gotta be also a little bit careful because there are some Bluetooth mice out there which only have like 133 Hertz, which might actually seem enough, but guys, trust me, like if you're using like a low tier wireless mouse, you're definitely gonna notice the difference. Like I used the M800 Deluxe and I gotta say, sometimes I got a little bit of skipping there, you know, because the sensor is not really like up to date and like the whole technology in this mouse. So therefore I can really recommend you try to go for some established brand where you know already that they get good specs in there. And yeah guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome, I'm out. Peace.
Run up a milli, the hop out the car with a vert. They hit my line for the work. Stick side of navy, on top of these niggas like gravy. Give on a ride like I'm Brady. She think I'm a cheater. She think I fuck with it either. Cut that hoe off, I don't need her. Run out that money for D, then I'm swimming my team, and I promise I ain't here for the fame. I put a rollie on niggas who never had money, they only gon' bang for the game.